My name is Paul Matheson. I'm an installation technician at the Art Gallery of Ontario, and my specialty is lighting, and I was the flyman on the lighting and technical crew at Studio 54. I was a major part of the operation and, and the look. I, I lived there. I was there, I was working there so much that, you know, at, at six o'clock in the morning, I'd go out the stage door, have a breakfast sandwich and come back in through the stage door and go to bed upstairs in this dressing room. Walking into the club, everything was florid and big and all in with all the wild lighting, with all the strobes, the ultraviolet, smoke machines, snow, special effects flying in and out, mylar strips that would flutter in and flutter back out again. And, and, and meanwhile, red, yellow, green, purple, blue lights chasing and a couple thousand people either sitting or lounging around with this great loud music or wildly dancing. What I learned from the on and off three years is that really you could do anything if you had the vision and the willpower and some money and the creative ability. And if you mix all those things together, um, you can kind of do whatever you want. I think I've carried that through in most of my lighting design work uh, since then. And that includes here at the art gallery as well. So my work on the Studio 54 at the AGO, I wanted to give an impression of what it was like to walk into the, walk in to the studio and through that and have all of this ambience and energy um, around you. So while you're looking at artifacts, you're in this kind of moving light that's um, the logo of Studio 54 to kind of give the feeling of these rotating lights at the disco. At this exhibit, you can, um, you know, you can head to the light, you can come to the light. The feeling of the club was joyful. It was very energetic. And the impression I'm trying to give of that, I, I think is gonna be a lot of fun. You can come here and you can, you can forget about the pandemic for a bit. It's gonna be a fun show.